Asylum seekers continue to fight back on a move from Manhattan's west side to Brooklyn. On Sunday, the city sent MTA buses to move them from the Watson Hotel on 57th Street to a new shelter at the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal, but many of them pushed back, citing the conditions at the new shelter. Yesterday, dozens of asylum seekers decided to camp outside the hotel, saying its location made their lives a lot easier. So what's next? CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live on the west side with more. Alice? Some asylum seekers remain out here on the sidewalk outside of the Watts and many willing to spend another night sleeping out here in the cold. Rather than relocate to the facility in Red Hook, Brooklyn, their concerns remain the same. They say they are worried about privacy and other conditions at that facility. Meantime, the city is trying its best, they say, to convince them that it is a safe and comfortable place to stay. This afternoon, some asylum seekers boarded buses from the Watson Hotel on 57th Street to head to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal in Red Hook. The hotel has served as a shelter for men, but the city now plans to use the site for asylum seeking families with children. But not everyone wants to go. With the assistance of a translator, these men told us the beds at the Red Hook facility are packed together, leaving no privacy, and many have found work at odd hours right here, they say, in Manhattan. And so they're trying to move us to a shelter where there's not enough space, not enough bathrooms. Rooms, not comfortable, no heat. There's hundreds of people packed together, head to toe. Faith leaders and community members stood with the men outside. We can do better, and we must do better. The city says there's security at the Red Hook facility and nearly 100 toilets. Its Immigrant Affairs Twitter account has been posting videos and pictures trying to fight what it calls misleading information. It says there are free regular MTA buses and ferries at the terminal, controlled temperature, three meals a day, and hot showers. The mayor also toured the facility Monday. The commissioner of the city's Office of Immigrant Affairs came to the Watson today to speak with asylum seekers then took a bus with a group to go look at the Brooklyn facility. We're just trying to have a dignified place to stay. Sources say the city is now estimating that for the next fiscal year, the cost of providing services to all of these asylum seekers could rise to as much as $2.8 billion. The NYPD is out here keeping an eye on things. They do have traffic closed off on one side of the street going east between 10th and 9th Avenue. So if you are traveling, be aware of that. Live in Midtown, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.